Hello and welcome to another one of these ADD videos. Today we're going to be looking at the concept of long division. Uh, basically long division, uh, the formal definition states that if the degree of f of x is less than d of x, then there exists a polynomial such that it can be written in this form here. Who really uses that nowadays? Nobody. Uh, what do we need to use it for whenever we're looking at two polynomials being divided like this one here? Um, we've got a dividend up top and a divisor up bottom, and that's going to give you a quotient plus a remainder over a divisor. Okay. Uh, it can also be written like this, in which we have, again, the divisor on the outside, and we have the divisor there dividends on the inside and we're going to have the quotient which is the non-remainder part of your answer plus the remainder of the divisor however you want to look at it okay but usually the answer is written in that form what are the steps well what you do is you take the largest expression in the dividend and ooh, that highlighter is way too big let's try that again largest expression in the dividend which is inside the division line and divide it by the largest expression in your divisor. So in this case, if you're looking at this problem, we would look at the 4x squared here and divide it by the x squared here, okay, to figure out what goes here in this first spot. And in this case, if you were to do that, you would have 4x cubed over x squared, which if you use your exponent rules, you would get that. If you're not familiar with your exponent rules, now would be a good time to go back and review, okay? Uh, this will be your answer that you put, first part of your quotient that you put up there. And you're going to take that 4x and you're going to multiply it times uh, both of the expressions down here in your divisor. And you're going to end up with what we have down here. Uh, there's my mouse. Let's get it to the right size. So if I take my 4x that I got from dividing these two expressions up here. Uh, I'm going to get to multiply that 4x times both of those to get this and this. Okay. After I do that, make sure that I have put zeros in for the powers that are missing. That way I don't get tempted to multiply terms that aren't like. Then what I do is I change both of their signs to the opposite. In this case, they were both positive, so now they be become negative. Okay. Combine your like terms, and what I, whatever is left over... After you combine your like terms, you repeat the process. Take the largest expression in your divisor and divide it into that part. And then you keep going until there's nothing left in your dividend or the power of your dividend is less than your divisor. Less than your divisor, okay? If you see a couple of these examples, it'll make more sense. Uh, practice, practice, practice is the key. And watch the example videos. I hope I've clarified any confusion that you might have. And thank you and have a nice day.